Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just standing here. <laughs> uh, I was wondering, are you going to enforce my rights today? <laughs> You know, yesterday I went to Port Townsend for a court hearing, and it didn't end the way that I thought it would. So, I was kind of thinking that maybe we should be going to court. Now, I had documented in some emails that I sent yesterday and the day before that my sons are in the wrong grade, but no one called me. Now, as a father, you can appreciate that when I inform law enforcement yes, that my sons are in the wrong grade, there must be a good reason why you thought you had to continue to enforce your protection order. <laughs> Was it because you issued it? <laughs> Did you issue a protection order that doesn't have the signature of a petitioner on it? didn't give me any notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> you issued a protection order where there's forgeries and fraud, and <laughs> your thought was, well, we can't tell him where his sons are at because we issued a protection order. Today, <laughs> I'm a little more upset than I thought I was yesterday. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you sleep on it, <laughs> Your subconscious mind actually processes everything that you experience so that when sleeping, you wake up and you think, wait a second, there seems to be a real problem. Now, uh, yesterday I had to go to court. I didn't want to go to court. But you decided that you had to have me go to court and you couldn't admit the evidence that I wasn't in Brennan that I wasn't cyber-stalking. <laughs> you and law enforcement decided that you would not enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> and instead, <laughs> we'd keep enforcing the fraud. <laughs> I really thought about what could possibly be causing sheriffs and police officers <laughs> to think that they have to enforce a judiciary's protection order where there's no signature of the petitioner. <laughs> I wasn't given actual notice or opportunity to be heard. Yes, <laughs> the five minors named have been in the wrong grade for seven and a half years, and you decided that you would not enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> now, there's a possibility that <laughs> you might be high. <clears throat> As in, you're on some sort of prescription. <laughs> well, you just take a pill and you think right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am not happy to die.